Hi, I am getting ready to start seeing clients for the day, but there was something I had on my mind that I wanted to ask you about. So um, I posted a video and I was talking about my, um, you know, hormones and things like that. And I referred to myself as a non-binary elder. And this is a phrase I've been using for, I think a couple of years now. And you know, these things just kind of pop in your head and it seems like it maybe is a good idea and it fits right and it conveys a message and maybe also conveys like a, a feeling of sorts. And so, so far it seems like most folks have been, um, they connect with it. Like other people who are non-binary are able to, it helps designate that I am older than people who are non-binary and realizing this at younger ages and a lot of people like hearing from people who are older. So here's the question I have for you is that I shared that video on Instagram and somebody had mentioned that they didn't think I should use that. Now here's the thing I think is confusing. They said you shouldn't use the word elderly to describe yourself because I think of that more as people who are older than you are, Dara. And so the thing is that I definitely was not using the word elderly. Um, I agreed that that would not be accurate. And so, sorry about that. Um, what I am wondering, even though that wasn't the word that I was using, I did kind of take a step back and think about the word elder. And I wanted to see if, I wanted to see what you think of that. Um, I guess I think of it in a way where somebody who is elder sometimes is just older than somebody else. Maybe it's not like in terms of indicating that somebody is much, much older or a certain age group or second decade of age. Um, I have a friend who calls themselves an elder and they're only 35 years old and I'm 45 years old, but they are still older in terms of growing up as a teenager, not knowing that being non-binary was an option. So, but I wanna be sensitive, so I wanted to ask you, I'm gonna ask also my Instagram audience and also my Twitter audience and my also my Facebook audience, because I think there's gonna be maybe different perspectives from each group. So this is my, my posing the question to my YouTube audience. I look forward to hearing what your thoughts are. And yeah, I'll talk to you again soon.